So we are about ankle deep into what's turning out to be a pretty extensive renovation. This is, I mean, I'm still calling it a facelift, but the other thing that I need to forewarn you of is we are not very tidy when we renovate. If you notice, it's this boat is just a hot mess right now, but I'm excited to share with you our progress. We've made a lot of progress despite the weather not really working in our favors. It's been a lot of nasty, cold, windy, wet, rainy days. And unfortunately, when you're doing work like this, we have to take advantage of the outside spaces. And uh, that's that's been a challenge over the last few weeks, but we are making progress. Stick around. Let's change our story. Let's change our life. We'll do it our way, our own design. Nothing can now we're gonna make it to the blue somehow and we can go untie the line and let our compass be our guide you saw in the last video no Two videos ago you guys saw uh, me working on the port side four cabin which is over here and um, we pulled out that workbench and we're working on rebuilding a berth in there and a lot of other things um, that room has been put a little bit on the back burner because we are now working on the starboard aft cabin which is going to be carter's cabin but it's quickly become the most complicated cabin that we have it also holds all of the electrical components, which there's going to be a decent amount of uh, rewiring, reconstructing. Uh, we've got lead batteries that we're going to be changing over with um, lithium. There's also going to be, we have to move batteries from this compartment to the engine compartments because we're going to maintain the, the lead batteries for the starter batteries, but you can't have those. They have to be basically partitioned away from the lithium. You, you can't mix lead and lithium um, at least not easily, but we have a way that we're going to do that where they are tied together to charge. Anyway, um, in this video, I want to show you guys uh, what's been going on. I want to get you caught up. Um, we've made some great progress in this room and pretty excited about it. Get here. Rip it off, Ella. <sighs> See if we can rip this thing off. No, it's glued onto the vinyl. It has screws. Well, it's the screws into the wood, and then the wood was glued on. Nope, it's gonna be much better. It's such much better. Low effort. Oh, low effort, Daddy. Oh yes, my big piece is going bigger. It's expanding. <laughs> We decided that since we were already replacing the wall liner, it'd be a good idea to go ahead and insulate wherever possible. I'll put links to the products we've used in the video description below. Okay, we got the spray. Try to glue it up, see if it's gonna stick. Looks like it is. We're working on insulating. This is Reflectix. This is um, the stuff that you can buy for houses and whatnot. And uh, it's like a bubble wrap with two layers of the foil, which is supposed to reflect the um, the heat waves away and, and of course, add some insulation. Um, this boat being built in the 90s in France, it really had like almost no insulation anywhere other than the coring. And um, we're hoping that this was going to help us to keep it um, heat and cooled when we are running the air conditioner and um, and also keep it cool from the from the sun you know rays beating down on it real hard uh, but also this serves a whole other purpose is it helps to smooth out the walls like up here this is very a lot of like bumpiness up here and uh, we filled this in with some foam styrofoam type insulation in the back and now it's, it's got a nice smooth contour um, a lot of this stuff is really hard to get off and we found that in the areas where it's really tight um, we'll just leave it and we're going to cover it with the Reflectix uh, anyway, so it really doesn't even matter. And you got to let this stuff sit for a minute or two to let the um, 
solvents evaporate and then it'll it'll stick really nicely to itself. Also, um, down low where the water line is, we get a lot of condensation because the uh, the water temperature is cool and we get it warmed up in here and then it condensates on it. And then that is a whole different issue. Um, so I'm hoping that lining pretty well everywhere, um, other than down in the bilges, we're not gonna do that, of course, but uh, the living areas will help to reduce the amount of condensation that builds up on these walls. Um, and it does, it feels, it feels considerably different. It's got a little bit of a padding to it, a little bit of a squish to it, so that's nice. Guys, we put the vinyl up already on this and you can't, you don't hear the crinkle of the reflectix yeah. underneath it. And it feels so good. This vinyl is so much nicer than what was in here. And it's hard to tell the light. We have the lighting in here, it's terrible. But there's the old vinyl and it was really sticky and gross. And this is the new vinyl and it's really smooth. This is our diesel tank. This is the main diesel tank for both engines and it's um, almost 90 gallons. So this is a problem. The tank is original to the boat, 1996, and we all know that these tanks don't last forever. Um, so eventually that tank is gonna have to come out, be serviced, be welded, be replaced, whatever the circumstance may be. And because we are doing work now, um, I want to plan for that. So to do this wall cabinet up here, and then have from here to here empty and then a desk that's going to serve our needs perfect it's going to look good and then when that tank has to come out because it has to come out through the bedroom it'll be so much easier to do it as it is now we'd have to tear all of this out anyway to get that tank out so we're just going to go ahead and redesign it so that it's easier to get to if we should need to get to it and uh, we'll go from there so that's what i'm going to work on right now is um, getting this cabinet out it's going to be a trick because of the uh the electrical panel that's going to be that's going to be tricky so corey has been doing a lot of work on this boat i've been helping out a good bit but there's just some things that i'm not good at but i am kind of responsible for all the paperwork and everything else that we do so one of the things i've been working on is re-registering our beacons because these beacons came with the boat i don't know why we have two but we do and they were registered to the previous uh, boat name and boat owners, so we had to update those. These are EPIRBs, if you don't know. They're emergency beacons, basically. So if you are in distress, you can activate these. They also activate, I believe, if they just hit the water, so we don't wanna drop it overboard. But what it does is it sends off a signal to rescue uh, authorities wherever you are, the Coast Guard here in the United States, to let them know that it's been activated. These are registered to the individual boat owner. These both came with our boat. I'm not really sure why we have two. I don't know that most people do have two, but we do. So we have been able to re-register these in our name. It took me a little while to figure out how to do that, but I got that situated. Now the next thing is the batteries on these are good for five years. And this one is an older EPIRB but it has obviously had a more recent battery um, replacement because the expiration on this battery is 10 of 23. I thought this one was newer and didn't need replaced, but when I looked at it, it actually says two of 20. So this one is expired. So you can't, I guess, replace these yourself. You actually have to send them in to be replaced to a servicing center. And it's like $270 to replace the battery. But an actual EPIRB is over 500, last I checked. So that's still cheaper. So we're gonna send this one in to be serviced and replaced. And hopefully that'll be good. This one has several more years on it. So we should be okay. And that's about it. So maybe we take one with us in a dinghy if we're gonna head out away from the boat and off the shore or something like that. I don't know. We're gonna be out in open waters in our dinghy. Well, some of the questions were, were are you gonna port, re, you know, are they portable? Or are you gonna keep them on the boat? And then they also asked, is there a life raft on board? And currently there is not a life raft on this boat. Um, so it said, whatever the current situation is what you have to answer. But the other thing is you can log in at any time and update the beacons to reflect the situation of your boat. So, and if we were to sell one for some reason or decide we only need one, then um, we can unregister it and then the new owner could register it to them. But even this one, which is old, these are reselling on eBay for like 450 bucks. So 
it's just crazy. They're expensive. Um, all right, guys. Sorry, this footage is a little bit jumbled. Um, I got all of this out, all of this, and I'm working on this guy here, and it's about to come out. And sorry, there's no um, power on because I had to take our circuit breaker, you know, the blue C panel, out. I'm going to reinstall that in this area somewhere. We're going to try to conceal that and make it look nice. Um, but this guy's got to come out, and I think it's close basically just held in with silicone at this point. Yep, right there. Just silicone. Maybe 5200, maybe 4200, I don't know. Yep, here it comes. There we go. Okay, now what I've got to do is I've got to secure uh, that. I have had a few more hours to get some work done and sorry I didn't pick up the camera, but it's probably boring stuff anyway. So this is what I've got done. Um, all of this has been uh, ripped out. I've got um, some cleats epoxied onto here. This is where the cabinet wall is going to go. So as we said before, I'm going to build a cabinet in here that's going to stop about right here. So that'll be, you know, like a wall cabinet. And then this area is going to be open, but of course we're going to finish this off because that's the tank. This is the Blue Sea distribution panel for the AC. And uh, we're going to rebuild this. I've just got this temporary here, but I'm basically I'm going to box this in right here. Um, there should be enough room from this point up to here that should translate to this measurement. And uh, we've got other displays to go in here for our uh, solar array and our battery. Um, charge levels and you know all kinds of stuff so this is going to be basically the electronics hub and um, we're going to close that in with uh, some plexiglass and everything will look really nice and Carter's happy with that um, this I've got these uh, this is this is the um, hull so I've got the insulated and carpet on there and it is looking great look how it's looking with my floor now I made this floor and I'm going to show you a video about how we did that but I don't have that put together yet it's going to be great yeah super excited making a lot of progress and it's looking great and it's coming together really well so as you can see we've done a lot of work mainly Corey has done a lot of work i've helped hang some vinyl and some of the reflectix but mainly Corey has been working he's our woodworker and planner and designer for everything so it's a lot of work but not only that but we're running wires and removing electrical panels there's lots of stuff going on in here that's not just covering walls because if it was just covering walls it would be done by now wouldn't it Corey's yeah, behind me yeah it, it'd be done it would be done yes so it is not just that it is trying to figure everything out move everything around design everything and move electrical everything box panel wiring we are really hopeful to have this room livable within the week. Uh, next weekend is going to be gorgeous here, supposedly, who knows. We've had so much rain and flooding, it's been terrible, but we're hoping to go sit at Anchor. And in order to sit at Anchor, this room has to be livable for the weekend. So we need to have the bed back in and everything else. So we're hoping to have it mostly put together, except for still some finishing work, because that's gonna take time to get that all situated. Anyways, that's about it. We are working hard. There's other projects going on. We'll have lots to show as the videos come up. Uh, if you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe so you know when we post our next video. And thanks for coming along with us. Bye. Hello.